Oh, hey, what's up? It's Chris Young. Uh, if you've been looking for that base camp RV, the Class B, the van life, they've been extremely popular. I'm sitting in a pretty sweet one. This is the Jayco Swift 20T. Now, all the Swifts are 20 feet, 11 inches. Pretty much the only thing that varies is going to be what's in the back. Up front, Ram 3500 Pro Master chassis. You got the 3.6 liter engine in this, 267 horses with that nine speed automatic transmission. And of course, the five, as I like to call it, the Nav 5. The touchscreen, which it does have navigation, it's got everything that you could want in it, plus your Android Auto as well as your Apple CarPlay. Up top, you got your SOS, you do have assist built into this one, your reading lights for the captain and the co-captain, as well as some molded holders up here for whatever you need them for, your plush, comfortable visors, and down here, everything that you need at your fingertips from your comfort control to USB, including the USB-C, 12 volt, and just because why not have it, you got wireless charging thanks to the RAM charger right here with indicator light. Push button start, emergency start, as a matter of fact, I'm going to go ahead and cut this off. Just really wanted you to kind of see that awesome touch screen that we have here. Now, another thing that's awesome is going to be the captain's chairs. Jayco does not skimp. Look at the waffle pattern that we have here on this upgraded premium leather captain and co-captain co-captain's chairs. Now they both recline, they also swivel, so if you want to turn around and take a look at what's going on in the back of your 20T, you absolutely can. But I got to tell you, as plush and comfortable as these are, I really don't want to move, but since Adam's outside in the rain with the camera, might as well let him in. So, upgraded flooring, and of course it is the Swift, so you're going to have the awesome bug screen, as I like to call it. Open that up so Adam can kind of come in. Uh, easy glide doors, and it is Jayco too, so you're going to get like that J-Ride where they spend a lot of time upgrading and making the ride a little bit smoother, but also increasing that suspension so you get a sturdier ride while going down the road. Storage down as you step down, a great little spot for a doggy bowl too. Uh, I've seen people put those little molded bowls and dishes and stuff like that in there. You're going to find a lot of camp conveniences inside Class B's. For example, you got the fold-out table here. So if you want to turn the captain's chair around, use it as an eating space, you absolutely can. You do have a removable table that fits in between the couches back here, uh, the Froley bed system, if you will. But Adam, come on in. I'm going to move my TV, which is on the swivel arm, as you can see. So if I want to kind of get everything around, I absolutely can, but it also does lock into place. Up top is going to be my main command center. Now, this one does come with the upgraded 200 watt solar panel, which also has a 48 volt uh, upgrade on it. So you got the inverter, you get a different, you get a second coach battery, which is very nice. You also get the generator on that. And we'll talk about that once we get outside. But step on in here, Adam. Look at this. Thermoformed European style high gloss cabinetry. Uh, as Adam called them earlier, they're kind of like the airline cabins. You got the little lock clasp here, the strut supported. You got the solid surface countertops, pop up power station, Dometic tempered glass covered, two burner cooktop with the grill style grate. Does have the little pickup locks, which is very nice to have. My windows there that do do the open and slide as well as the sliding screen if you need it. Very nice little feature to help keep the bugs, you know, the elements and stuff like that out, but also give you some great cross breeze. Little pull out extension right here, solid surface countertop. Convection oven, 3.1 cubic foot Norcold fridge with more storage underneath. I mean, the great thing about Class B's and this one being, you know, 20 feet, it's, you can take it to places that you normally can't take large RVs. So let's say, for example, you need to go to, you know, 20 feet, 11 inches. Let's say you want to go to a big box store or a grocery store. You can zip in, get a regular parking spot. It's just like a big van where you have max vent fan, a 13.5 BTU Coleman 12 volt AC up here. Tons of cabinet space that is high-end and decorative, which is a calling card of Jayco and that Swift line. 
For your kitchen, you also have the undermounted stainless steel sink with the high-rise faucet, the decorative padded balances along the windows with the true shades. I really like that because the white back means it's also going to reflect heat, so you're not going to have to worry about that. And underneath, look at the plush, comfortable fabric that we have on all the cushions here in the 20T. Adam, I'm going to switch this over here because I want to show you that Froley system. Check this out. So underneath the bed cushion here is going to be, I like to call it the Ikea style. It's a Froley bed. So you just pull this out and it extends over. Then you use this to give you either a, a nice big giant bed here or two very comfortable twin size beds. Uh, good support. This also ratchets up. So if you need to make some space, you can. Got the little suspension net over here for cell phones, reading material, whatever you want. Since this cushion folds down, I like to call this the, the couch or the bench seat. Um, got the large panoramic window, 110 outlet underneath. You also get the JBL flip speaker for your entertainment in here. So great sound inside the 20T, but throw it in your backpack when you're ready to go hiking or throw it on your bike. Great for running around. You got the Lagoon. A removable table which is currently latched under the campsite seat here but works great with the mount here just to give you a spot to eat to work to enjoy or do whatever you want to do reading lights another 110 outlet over there and you got the right above my giant head how about the truma hot water system yep the truma thing is awesome because it's lightweight it's versatile when it comes to the power that it uses, but does a really good job of giving you hot water quick uh, and extremely hot. Got your light controls here, your awning controls as well. And then when we step into the back, the 20T, this is where you have what I like to call nature's bathroom. The doors, you got the Thule arm awning outside, plus you got the bike rack. I mean, this, Sure, it's, it's going to be a little cramped when you're standing up, you know, when, when you're standing up straight because you are in a class B, but that thermoformed European style cabinetry here for your ward space, as well as your storage drawers, your bathroom, your wet bath, if you will, sink that folds down there with the pull up faucet and your water slash shower controls. I mean, to me, Oh yeah, and you got the little push vent fan here as well, and the little nice bright LED light. But if, if you're going base camping, I mean for real, if you're gonna say, "Hey, I'm going, I'm going off grid, off grid," take a shower with the doors open, do it Grizzly Adams style. I mean, that's just kind of that's just kind of how you're gonna do it. Towel rack there, toilet paper here, and it, you'll notice that it's covered. So when you're taking a shower, it won't get wet. Very nice. And underneath, you got the spray port, as well as your water pump, your 110, and your light control. Check out the awesome light. You can probably see it up top. That's your 200 watt solar panel sitting on top, which also comes with a 48 volt house battery and a 1000 watt inverter to go along with that 2800 watt Jenny. Ram ProMaster 3500 chassis, you got the lane assist, the park assist when it comes to the parking. So if you deviate, this is going to let you know. Come around to the off camp side, the passenger side. There's my sturdy running board. I mean, I showed you this, the screen. I'm a huge fan of that. Right there is my Thule armless awning. I love those scissor arms, you know, those scissor awnings that come out. Got the LED light strip on there, the Omnistar. Want to kick out some entertainment? You absolutely can. If you want to set up some supports for the awning, bam, got them there. This, of course, was the rear. You do have your hitch with both a four and a seven way. It's a 3,500 pound hitch. Great for a bike rack. Uh, I mean, you won't really need another generator, but if you say, hey, 2,800 is not a lot, I want to get a whole lot more. You'll notice on top two, you got the Thule racks. You got three cross members up there. So you want to throw the kayaks up there, whatever, you absolutely can. Love the backup camera. Down there is also our dump. So you got uh, 27, 20, and 14 on your tanks. 27 fresh, 20 on the gray, 14 on the black. Not to mention your 24 gallon tank on this one as well. Come around to the off camp side. Here's where you're gonna see your connections. You got 
an additional solar here. So you got a 20 amp plug if you want to put some uh, those little solar briefcases to trickle charge a battery, you absolutely can. Never hurts, especially having that 200 watt panel on top. Uh, tank flush, extremely nice to have, especially in this price range. 30 amp connection, cable connection right there. Right there's the back of your Truma water heater. LP Connect, which is a 24 pound tank. And of course, for your fuel right there, 24 gallons there as well. Uh, but I got to the van life. Class B's are so popular because of the way they're built. And the fact that this is Jayco with that J ride, the suspension, all that thermoformed, beautiful, just European style cabinetry on the interior. Not to mention the pretty cool bed setup. And you can pick up this gorgeous Class B today at your local camping world. Come on in, snag it, make this 2420T your gift to yourself and your loved one so you guys can go see the country. And I will see you soon. Thank <laughs> you.